going to show you guys how to change and manipulate words on GIMP. The easiest thing, you can go onto their website, check out what they have. This is a free program, just to show, tell you guys that. But, um, yeah, if you guys need any help at all, any help, go to my YouTube and subscribe. You can message me. Um, but this website, GIMP, they do have tutorials, so if my help's not good enough, you can go on theirs. Anyways, this is GIMP, a GNU manipulation program. It um, enhances, alters, creates images. Now, today, what we're going to do is we're going to get a blank document, and we're going to manipulate a word to create it into a logo. It's probably the most easiest thing you guys would be able to do. And yes, this will be up on YouTube. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the Word. And we're going to go ahead and in this Word area on the toolbox, you can change your font, um, you know, filters up here. You can go ahead, that's what we're going to be using for our um, alteration. But anyways, with the font, you can change your font, search it up uh, in case you know what the font name is that you want. Um, my favorite one is Bajas, if I said it correctly. But um, for this logo, you guys will need a very, very big, um, very, very big words. That's what you'll need. But um, uh, besides the fact, what we're going to do is we're going to alter and change the word graphic design. And we're going to change it in a way that you'll be able to use on, on web pages, maybe on m layouts for MySpace pages, anything that you can think of. But um, let's go ahead and um, go ahead and set this to the middle. We're going to go ahead and set it right into the middle. Okay. Now, this is the layers area. You can change. You can get new layers, you can change it to foreground, background, white, um, transparency, but we'll use transparency because that's pretty much the most, n the well-known and most used one. Alright, now for the, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to filters and we're going to um, change the wording and how we're going to change it is you pick one of these. Um, my favorite one is frosty so let's use frosty change the color you can pick any color you want um, today I'm going to be using a lime green okay there we go um, let me go ahead and change this we're going to make the um, rays a little smaller now this process takes a little while it's usually the sparkling that takes the most time but it pretty much lays it all out for you in the layers and we'll merge those when we get a chance after this Alright, almost there. Okay. Well, there we go. We got our logo all here. Not completely done yet, but let's go ahead and um, delete that. Alright. Okay. Let's check those off. By the way, those are eyes. So whenever you want the layer to be visible or invisible, that's what you use. Alright, let's leave that one visible. We'll copy it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to control Z everything until we get back to the wording layer. Okay, then we're going to paste that layer back there and right click new layer onto it. So there you go, you got your new layer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to send the wording up towards above the logo. Let's go ahead and change the background back to our lime green. Click OK. There you go. Alright. So we're still not done yet. We still got to change a few things. So let's go ahead and go back to filters. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to do we're going to change this color to uh it, can, it doesn't really matter what background you change it to, but you really want that flame to pop out. All right. Go ahead and delete that background. Uncheck everything except for the flame. Merge down the black. All right. Click that. All right, Control Z everything again. Now paste that flame. All right, so you got your flame paste. Now send the black above. All right, there we go. Now we've pretty much gone it down to almost there. But right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paintbrush tool and we're gonna pick a very nice plain paintbrush. 
something that we can change on the eyes in our two words. So let me go ahead and see. Um, don't know. Let me check. Uh, let's use this. Let's use a moon. Let's go ahead and we're going to put them on the circle. Oh, that's way too big. Let's go ahead and lower the size. No, it's still a little too big. We just want it to fit nicely on top of that black. Uh, still a little too big. Uh, almost. Let's, let's try one more. Yeah, I think that's good. There we go. Okay, so now we got our moons. Our lime green moons. Now let's go ahead and take off everything except for that graphic design. Let's see if um, this would be cool to um, see if we can change that white in there to a different color. I'm going to change it to baby blue. Mm. You could. You could change it, but um, you'd have to blur everything that's very sharp there. And it's pretty much uh, it's kind of a headache. Um... Yeah, let's not do this. Let's take it all out. We're going to not use the blue. All right. Ooh, hold on. There we go. Hold on. Okay, there we go. All right, we got our stuff back. Okay, um, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to blur the red there. Because you don't want those straight edges showing there the most ugliest things that you want to use in designs and you'll get them denied automatically so let's go ahead and change them all right let's go ahead and pick another brush so we can go ahead and put it on our logo uh, no no a little too big uh, no it's still a little too big uh, that seems about right. Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, let's darken it. Alright. Oh, well, these are the layer modes. You can change them to different modes, like multiply. Multiply is the best. Overlay is not that good. Um, but just you can skim through them, change them, do whatever you want with them. But I think multiply is the best out of all of them. So let's go ahead and, um,. Yeah, that we can do that, but the thing is, it takes the red. So let's keep it on multiply. Oh, it looks like our moons got deleted. So let's choose something different. Let's not use a moon. Um, let's use an Earth. Let's use Earth. We'll use Earth to change on those eyes. Uh, okay. Uh, a little too big. Hmm. Uh, it's on the new layer. We want it to be over that eye. Uh, let's create a new layer. All right. Yeah, that that seems about good. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, there we go. So we got her done, and um, I hope you guys like this tutorial on how to change the words. And I will post up new videos soon. Um, so yeah.